I'll just make this a word of warning now. I kind of have a bit of a sore throat, so if you hear me coughing throughout this Let's Play, uh, my bad. I just don't want to, like, choke on my own words or anything. I know that seems a bit immature for a gamer to do at this point in a Let's Play, but I figured I made you guys wait long enough. We're here. Let's do this. Ten laps! With one of the fastest cars in the game. Now, I may be wrong here, but um, I'm pretty sure there's only supposed to exist like five or maybe six F1 LMs in real life. Or maybe that's just F1s, I'm not sure. I have limited knowledge on cars, I'm sorry. So if I am wrong, feel free to correct me. I should give you important pointers since we're going to be here a while. I mean, ten laps, jeez. This will take half an hour. Oh crap, no! Uh... That actually caused a distraction. Lucky me. Back to on point. Uh, this car is very fast, but I think there's an inverse as like to how fast you can go, the harder it is to turn on sharp curves. So be very, very careful when driving. You do not want to get overconfident. You want to focus. That being said, there may be long periods of time in which I do not speak until something out of the ordinary happens. That is not because I have nothing to say or I'm lazy, but it's because I want to make sure you guys get a good let's play and instead of me just pointlessly crashing. Huh. And you almost saw me crash there. Because I'm too focused on speaking. The AI is merciless in the later stages as you've seen in at least two of the previous events. You do not want to give them an advantage, especially not on the 10th lap. I should also address another factor. Shade Ray Gun is not here at the moment. He will not be here for this Let's Play. Or, well, this episode, this event. It, you know, he's not showing up and such. I mean it this time, I locked all my doors, and the garage door, but in all seriousness, since he's in Bukai Brawl until all that's finished up and done with, I think that's a fair trade. And I did say in the description for my last video, or maybe the video after, before that one, I don't know, that Shade Ray Gun wouldn't be in Need for Speed for a bit. I figured doing this event on my own would be a good counterbalance, considering that you, you all probably had to hear what... 10, maybe 15 plus episodes of him. Not saying that's a bad thing or a good thing, it's all your opinion, but I feel as though this could, this could just be a breather. Kind of ironic in a sense, making the final stage of championship mode a breather for viewers. Oh crap. Yeah, be careful around these curves, they can really get you. Like that. If that was the 10th lap, that would have been terrible. What am I doing? You know, that may not have been a good idea. Oh well, it's only the second lap. I am... One-fifth of the way done. I'm also not handling this car properly. I should probably try to go through the jungle shortcut this time. Not sure how good of an idea that is. But I'm willing to try anything if it means I'll be able to win. Well, except for using speed hacks. Because, I mean, this is a let's play. What, what would speed hacks be? It, just 
cheating way to do that. It's not like everyone has access to them. Oh, and speaking of which, weren't there barrels at the entrance of that tunnel? What happened to them? They disappear or something? What? Yeah, this one's much shorter. Whoa! Oh, phew. That would have been terrifying if I actually crashed there. Well, to me at least. Okay. I wonder how many songs from the soundtrack we're going to hear before this event is done. Because, I mean, you cannot legitimately choose 10 laps in multiplayer mode. The max you can get is 8. And I don't believe there's any other events in this game that have 10 laps, so I believe this is the single longest event in the game. Well, I mean, unless you're counting loading times between tournaments that have, like, more than one area. If you're uh, having a hard time going around corners and there's an AI there, feel free to bounce off of them. Sometimes they're nice enough to slow down to let you do that. And I actually needed that slight crash. Man. Remember what the Ford TS-50 of all the way back in the first episode of this Let's Play? Well, what the? I somehow managed to get myself higher than average air. Sweet. Going back to earlier, the Ford TS-50. Does anyone still remember that? How it was easier to get around curves because of how slow it went? We've come a long way from that, haven't we? Or rather, you've observed me coming a long way from that. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oops, I hit a mailbox. Mailbox. Jailbox. Car. Okay, I believe first place will be within my reach soon enough if I... As long as I don't crash into anything. I'm pretty sure there's a proverb related to slowing down even when you're ahead, so you don't like overexert yourself and end up farther behind than you originally started. But I don't know it, so I'll just paraphrase it like this. Whenever it seems you're about to get first, but you know you're going um, it recklessly, Sometimes it's a good idea to slow down with the square button instead of trying to get in the first like that. Because, you know, it can have unintended consequences of throwing you back three spots. Out of my way, car. I'm stuck between a balance of slowing down and speeding up. I need to catch up to them, but the shortcuts are all a bit curvy, as well as this part of the stage. Careful, careful. Who's the red guy in first? Or girl? Dom, and actually he's right behind him. I'm not surprised. I got it. Aha! Bouncing off your opponents. Surely a key to success. Come on. Ah, oh, dang it. I'm going to bounce into you, and then I will round a corner, and you will be annoyed at it. 